It's an amazing feeling to start a blog. It's an opportunity to express yourself and expand in ways you never know you could. And just like starting a business, a lot of effort is required. You don't become successful in blogging by accident. You need to put a lot of intention and work even when you feel like quitting. Actually, especially when you feel like quitting. Hi everyone, I'm Jojo LaBeouf and I help women grow their blogs and work from home. Here are 14 harsh truths you'll learn in your first year of blogging. Please take these truths with a grain of salt. I say this with love. Number one, no one cares about you. No one knows who you are. And I say this with love. You're entering a sea of bloggers in a world where no one knows you. You need to make yourself stand out from others by asking yourself, what am I good at? What kind of advice do people go to me for? What am I passionate about? What can I go hours on end talking about? This is an opportunity to create your voice based on your strengths, what you're naturally interested in, and using that to help people. And then people will start noticing you. Number two, you'll be blogging for months and months, creating amazing content, and not everyone is gonna see it. Something really important to know is that every time you publish a blog post out, it takes 90 days in order for it to rank on Google. And this is if your blog post is SEO friendly or search engine optimized, meaning it's searchable on search engines like Google by using certain keywords. So don't feel bad if your posts don't immediately get views the moment you put it out into the world. It doesn't work that way. But what you should do is assess each post 90 days after it's been published. That way you know if it's working or not. This next one is for travel bloggers. Number three, you will be spending most of your time on your computer or your laptop or your phone. Not actually traveling that much. A lot of your time will be spent researching destinations, writing posts, learning how to use creative programs, editing photos, and videos if you're putting them out on YouTube, designing graphics, posting on social media, replying to direct messages and emails, contacting brands, the list is endless. Number four, not everyone has the mindset to be a blogger and you're gonna find out the harsh truth if you're one of them or not. A lot of people think they need to be a good writer to blog or a good photographer or a good filmmaker or a good whatever it is. But what they don't realize is that these are skills they will learn as soon as they start blogging. What's actually hard is having a mindset to push through and quite honestly, eat shit for a very long time. And it's just a matter of really holding on even when you don't feel like it. You have to be willing to be clumsy, messy, and embarrassed when starting something new. You can't expect yourself to be skillful and graceful right off the bat. Number five, you'll get frustrated by how painstakingly long it is to get your first 1,000 subscribers or followers. Like it could take six months. This does vary from platform to platform, and it also depends on how much you've made your posts optimized for SEO and how much value you put into it. But know that this journey can take a while. And the more followers people see that you have, the more likely they are to follow you. So the more you have, the faster you'll grow. It's just gonna take a little while to get your first 1,000. Actually, when I started, I actually cheated and renamed my personal Instagram account to my blog name so that I didn't really have to start from zero. But this wasn't the case for starting my email list starting my YouTube channel and my other followings on Facebook and on Pinterest. Number six, you'll be spending more time promoting your content than creating it. Because if no one's going to see the valuable content you're creating for them, why create them in the first place? Number seven, you'll get a lot of followers and also unfollowers. And that's the nature of growing a following. It's never linear. Your following will go up, and then it'll also go down. Just remember that when it goes down, you're not losing your followers. Your following is actually becoming much more loyal and stronger to you. And that's much more important than having a larger number of followers who aren't genuinely interested in you. So why tag them along in your journey? Number eight, you'll be comparing yourself to other bloggers. It's not fair to them and it's especially not fair to you. You can't compare yourself to someone who's level 70 when you're only level two. When this happens, you might enter a not so good place and begin putting yourself down. So mute their accounts or stop following them. Number nine, you'll find many reasons to quit and it's up to you to let those reasons get in the way. Most of the time, we get in the way of our own success as we usually tell ourselves in one version or another, I'm not good enough. I'm a disappointment. I'm a failure. I'm doing everything wrong. I'm not special. I'm really bad at this. I'm ugly. I suck. I'm unlovable. And it's okay to have these thoughts. 
That's what it means to be a human being. And it's natural to go through these motions. Just remind yourself that this inside voice is only a voice and this voice is not you. And whatever it's saying is not true. Just remove that thought and toss it out. Number 10, you'll be confronted by all these harsh truths and it'll be worth it because number 11, you're gonna meet amazing people like you and instantly become friends because not only do they understand the struggles firsthand, but you also helped lift each other up. And I'm talking about the community you're building and the connections you're making with the people in your industry. Number 12, you'll be admired for your generosity because you're willing to share your knowledge and experiences for free without asking anything back. Number 13, your dream life is worth jumping through countless hoops for because experiencing yourself as a badass, powerful, go-getter, living the dream is priceless. If there's one thing to know is that patience is key and number 14, nothing about the blogging world is instantly gratified. It's all about long-term gratification. Ask yourself, Am I willing to invest my own money and work long hours for no pay, sacrificing personal time and lifestyle for maybe years? What's going to happen to me if this venture doesn't work out? So be patient and stay grounded. Just remember, success is inevitable. Make a plan, show up with energy and intensity every single day, and good things will happen. And there you have it. Those are my 14 harsh truths you'll learn in your first year of vlogging. And this is relevant for bloggers of all niches too. I hope you found this video helpful and let me know which harsh truths stuck with you. So if you're thinking of starting a blog but you're not sure how to go about it, I have a free PDF that's free for you to download. It's called The Bold Blogger Launch Checklist. I put all the steps in to build your brand, create your website, brainstorm your content, create your content, and then get it seen by people. It's basically a checklist to start your blog, put it out there with as little overwhelm as possible. I even include how much time you need for each step so you can log it into your planner and do it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Joja LaBeouf and I help women grow their blogs and work from home. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye!